Time for a quick update on North Texas housing market conditions. The housing market cooled again with mortgage rates rising to 8% in October. Closed sales in Denton County fell 9% from a year ago. Pending contracts slid 2%. Inventory remained steady at 2.5 months of supply. Percent of list and days on market were relatively unchanged. Median home prices in Denton County slid to 450000 in October, which puts them down 1.3% from a year ago. Average prices cooled as well, sliding to 538000 Prices have cooled for three months in a row now. It's not just normal seasonality at play. Higher mortgage rates have simply eaten away at demand. According to Mortgage News Daily, the rate on a 30-year fixed-rate mortgage reached a new cycle high of 8.03% during the month of October. That put a real dent in home affordability for prospective buyers. The QRA punt. Janet's parlor trick with the composition of Treasury issuance, QRA, provided a short-term boost to liquidity and some temporary relief on rates. QRA stands for Quarterly Refunding Announcement, in case you were asking. Rates fell roughly 50 basis points from the October high following the announcement. The temporary boost to liquidity and easing of financial conditions is a double-edged sword. The Federal Reserve is still trying to bring down inflation. Janet's election cycle fiscal politics only served to make Jerome Powell's task even more difficult. It appears volatility is going to remain a theme until something breaks. The U.S. labor market is still structurally tight. Layoffs are increasing, but the alarm bells aren't ringing yet. Credit delinquencies are beginning to rise, particularly for younger demographic cohorts. Auto loan delinquencies are also on the rise. The real estate industry is in flux. Many in the real estate industry are still calling for a low on home sales volume. While anything is possible, history suggests we will have a bumpy road ahead. That road has been made even more challenging with the slew of recent lawsuits rippling through the industry. While now our major brokerages are busy appealing the Sitzer Burnett verdict, more suits will keep popping up on behalf of both sellers and buyers. The entire residential real estate model is in limbo now while we wait for the judge's final order in that case. The real estate market is still hanging tough for the time being. Deals are getting done and buyers are still out in the market. It's just harder to make the numbers work in this distorted, higher rate environment. Builders are still taking advantage of the opportunity to work through their pipelines. NTREI stats show that new construction sales in Denton County were up 42% year over year in October. That contrasts with the 22% decline in existing home sales. Builders are capturing a higher share of the market by tapping the affordability equation. New home sales accounted for a third of total sales volume last month. Home builders know what's at stake, so they're doing what they can to maintain deal flow. Big incentives for rate buy-downs and closing incentives will likely continue through the end of the year. Proposition 4 brings property tax relief. Property tax relief for Texas homeowners is on the way. Proposition 4 was approved by more than 80% of voters in the November 7 constitutional amendment election. The homestead exemption rises to $100,000 now. School tax rates will be 10.7 cents lower per $100 of property value. The amendment also brings a a new 20% cap on the annual rise in business property values. Taxing districts will be sending out those tax bills to property owners. The notices for 2023 should reflect the new savings passed with Prop 4. If you received a property tax bill before the recent election, you may want to check your account at the end of the year to make sure it reflects the passage of Prop 4 tax relief. It's still a challenging market to buy or sell a home. The mortgage market continues to whipsaw buyers, and sellers are still faced with a conundrum of where to go when they sell. Flexibility and patience are key if you are trying to maintain your sanity. If you need a seasoned real estate professional to help you navigate the process, you know where to find me.